Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. For this video, we're going to cover the quotient rule for derivatives. So this rule is a really neat rule, and we use it to find the derivative of one function divided by another. As you can see, a lot happens with the quotient rule, and a lot of pieces start getting flown around. So let's carefully look at the formula, as well as some tips on uh, how to use the quotient rule effectively. That way you never uh, go wrong. All right, so let's pick this apart and see what's going on here. So when you want to take the derivative of one function divided by another function, you put it together like this. You take the bottom function multiplied by the derivative of the top function minus the top function multiplied by the derivative of the bottom function all over the bottom function squared. Okay. Now, even though this is a uh, tricky looking formula, don't worry, I will give you some tips on how you can memorize that. First, I want to point out that you should only use this when you have two functions that are being divided. You have lots of other rules when they're being added, subtracted, multiplied, but only use this one when you are dividing functions. To make things a little bit easier on yourself, uh, maybe take an extra step to find the derivative of f and the derivative of g separately before attempting to put them into this formula. If you try and juggle them all at once, uh, you may end up missing a piece or even putting in too many pieces. All right, now comes the fun part. Uh, even though this formula is very complicated, uh, there's a great way that you can actually go about memorizing this. All you have to remember is this little neat phrase down here. Low d high, high d low, all over low squared, okay? In fact, if you say it enough times, it almost sounds like a, a weird nursery rhyme. So low d high, high d low, over low squared. And if you remember that crazy little phrase, you will never forget your quotient rule, okay? So those are just a few quick tips. Let's get into a couple of examples and see how we can use this thing. All right. So in this first one, we want to take the derivative of e to the x all over x squared. All right, so let's write down what we want to do. So I want to find the derivative of my function. All right, and just to make things a little bit easier, let's go ahead and recognize our top function and our bottom function. So I would call all of this up here, maybe the f, and we'll call everything on the bottom g. So we want to find the derivative for f and for g separately. So let's see, what is the derivative of f? Well, the top is e to the x, and its derivative is also e to the x. So no change with that one. Now, on to the derivative of the bottom. So the derivative of x squared would be 2x. So you can see I'm really just using the uh, uh, power rule for this one. All right, let's write down all of our pieces so we can see where they go. So remember how that uh, nice little saying goes? So we start off with low, then we have d high. So low derivative of high minus high d low all over the lower function squared. Okay, and now I have my template on where all of my pieces are going to go. So let's see if we can put them all in. So let's start with our bottom function. This is x squared multiplied by the derivative of f, so e to the x minus f, which is e to the x, multiplied by the derivative of g. We found it over here, 2x all over. The bottom function just as it is, so x squared, and then we're going to square it again. Okay. So now all we have to do is simplify this, maybe look uh, a little bit nicer. Let's see what we got here. So I would write this as maybe x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x all over x to the fourth. Okay, and about the only thing I see that I can simplify here is that uh, I have an x in both pieces in the top. I have x to the fourth in the bottom, uh, and I can actually cancel out an extra x. So let's see, what would this leave me with? x e to the x minus 2 e to the x all over x cubed. So this would be our derivative. So be very careful on where you put in these pieces. Of course, make sure you simplify it down as much as possible. All right, let's look at one last example just to make sure that we have this process down. 
All right, so we want to find the derivative of one minus x squared all over x cubed plus one. So think of this as our top function, f, and we'll call the other one our bottom function, g. All right, now let's do a little bit of extra work just to find these derivatives one at a time. So what is the derivative of f? Okay, so the derivative of a constant would be zero. The derivative of negative x squared would be a negative 2x. Okay, so there's one of our derivatives. Derivative of the bottom. Derivative of x cubed would be a 3x squared. Okay, looks good. Time to put in all of our pieces. So the derivative of h. Let's see if we can build this. So I need low d high minus high d low. So low d high minus uh, high and d low. all over low squared. Okay, not bad. Now this one looks like it definitely requires a, a lot of simplifying. I don't think I'll simplify it all the way, but let's clean it up just a little bit so we don't have quite as many parentheses. So let's see, I'd probably take this and distribute it in, do the same thing over here. Let's see, what would that give us? A negative 2x to the fourth minus 2x minus, and then let's see, we're distributing this guy. So 3x squared. 3x squared multiplied by here would be a negative uh, 3x to the fourth, but of course we're subtracting. So positive uh, 3x to the fourth all over x cubed plus 1. That whole thing is squared. Okay. So I do have a few terms that I could go ahead and combine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do so. So combine our x to the fourths. Minus 3x squared minus 2x. All over x cubed plus 1. The whole thing squared. All right, so this one you could probably play around with it even more and maybe factor something out and cancel a little bit more of the bottom. But again, I wanna just leave this as it is because the important part is that all of our derivative and the functions by themselves ended up in the right spot, okay? So be very careful when you're using this uh, quotient rule for looking at the derivative of two divided functions. Uh, but remember, low d high minus high d low and you'll be just fine. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.